Hey guys, this is Afik. Today we're gonna start working on a single page application together. Uh, there are many ways to create a single page app. Uh, there are a lot of great tutorials online for Vue.js and Vue Router and Vuex and other great technologies that can help you create a truly amazing single page application. But then you try to combine all the technologies at once and sometimes you just get lost. Um, today I'd like to show you my approach and my best practices for making a single page application with the backend API to support it. Let's do a quick overview on the libraries and frameworks we will use in this tutorial. Um, the first one is Vue Router. Vue Router is a library that was made by the core team of Vue.js. It controls the, the history API supported in modern browsers and lets you manipulate it with a very nice and simple API. Well, the usage is very simple and straightforward. First you define a route for each path in your app, then you choose the corresponding component that will be rendered if the given path is matched. So for example for the path home I would like to render the home component. Now, inside your main app entry you put the render view component. That is a part of the vRouter library. This component will render the component you define in your route for the given path. For example, once the user visits the home path, the component home will be rendered inside the vRouter component. Now the way to navigate inside a component is by using this dot dollar sign router. This will give you access to the vRouter instance. Then you can use methods like push uh, to uh, give it a name or a path to a route and it will just navigate to it or you can use other functions like back to go back one step into the previous route. The next one is Vuex. In a single page application and in any application in general you have state. State for each component and a way to manage this state inside your component but in many cases you need a piece of your state to be shared among many components more than one now Vuex is just a way to do one centralized store that will hold the application state for you and let you manage it the way it works is inside your view component you can dispatch an action this action can be asynchronous it can talk to the backend api it can do some calculation and then it will send a commit. This commit will mutate the state and will override the state with a new instance. Then inside your component you can use getters to get values from the state. Again, inside your component you will dispatch an action. This action will commit a mutation to the state. Then using a getter inside your component you can get a piece of your state and use it. Now the way to create a new store is very simple. You just define a new variable for store um, and then you define your initial state, what are your getters and actions and mutations. And I will show you in the next episode how to get um, data from your state and how to manipulate it using dispatch and actions. Next is JWT authentication. We need a way to authenticate users and communicate with our backend API. Uh, there are many other ways. You can use Laravel Passport, you can use uh, OAuth2, uh, you can use basic um, tokens. Now the way I chose to do that is by using JWT which stands for JSON Web Tokens. Now the way JWT authentication works is for the first time you post a request to log in with a username and a password. The server will generate a token for you, will send it back to you and then you can save it inside a cookie, you can save it in local storage and then for every other request you'd like to make to the server to get or store data, you will have to pass the authentication token as well. Next is Validate.js. We just needed a simple way to validate our form inputs. We will see uh, the example application in a moment. but. Once you create a new instance in the database, you'd like to make sure all your data is validated. In our case, we're using validate.js. Now, the way it works, you define constraints 
for each key that you'd like to validate, you give it an object with all the validation rules. So in this particular example, I want my name to be present, which means required. And I want my email to also be required. And I want to make sure that it's a type of email. Then you can just pass in your data and using those constraints, you will get errors back. If there are no errors, we passed. If we have errors, we can simply display them to the user. Okay, so this is our example application. Uh, it's made with Vue.js, Vue Router, Vuex, and all the technologies we've mentioned. Uh, you can use a valid email and password and click login. Once you're in, this is your home page. Then we can visit our customers page and get a list of all our customers. We can click to view one of them. And this is a customer view. You can go back to all your customers. You can create a new one. So let's just create a new customer. And let's just see we have the validation here. So we need to give it a valid phone. And we also need to give it a website. And once you create one, you'll get it listed inside your all customers view. You can click log out. And that's about it. Okay, that was it. In the next episode, we'll create a new Laravel application, install our NPM dependencies and start making our single page application. I'd also like to mention that all the source code will be available in my GitHub uh, once this series is over. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.